Hey guys, this is Laura with McLeod Homestead. And while I haven't done anything this week, I've actually done a lot. Um, just didn't make any videos. It's not been your typical week. I'm home right now because my son was home sick from school. Got garbage burning behind me. I'm waiting right now for a load of wood finally to get here. So, like I said, I just figured I'd bring you guys up for a little update. And so here we are. So I lost my husband a little over a month ago. And in this past month, it has been chaotic. Just extremely chaotic. So not only and I trying to get my normal jobs done, which I'm failing at. I'm also trying to get his chores done with the help of my boys to get everything ready for winter, which is eh, me. I want it done immediately. I've got to wait. That drives me nuts. Just rather be have it done and just have that comfort of knowing it was done but it is what it is in the meantime while we have been working on all that we have had other issues because as with owning your own home every couple years we have to snake our leach bed and lo and behold we got storms we've got water guess what got plugged and we know I know exactly the spot it's plugged at it happens every couple of years so two of my boys have been up here trying to help get that snaked and get that clog undone so still not done got to go buy some stuff to put down it but we also like I said had a couple bad storms last weekend for two days in a row power went out I can't have that with my four-year-old. He flips out right now because when we first came home from the hospital after my husband passed, our power went out for a longer period of time. We had to go stay with my son. So now it's kind of, it brings on a whole new level of anxiety for him. So for now, I went and bought a small generator. So that way power goes out. He's comfortable if he can watch a TV or even have just a light on so that's what we did so we're all set there so like I said I've been trying to work um, part-time and it's just I feel like I'm going 50 million directions and 50 million projects going on and not a one getting finished so it's very stressful very stressful um plus deal with your emotions don't mind the smoke the fire's still burning i got my first load of wood that should actually give me enough to last pretty much the rest of the winter but i will get another load just to be on the safe side because we don't know what kind of winter we're getting and i'd rather have too much than not enough so while the garbage burning, I don't know if you can see my chickens up there wandering around apparently. Oh, there's the hole in the fence over there. That's got to be fixed, but I'm going to see if I can't get this bad boy started up and try and get a little bit of log split. Look at that, guys, or hear that. It's sat for uh, since probably last fall. Started right up some fresh gas so I'm gonna do a little splitting
Okay. So I am not going to be splitting wood at the current moment. I need to get some hydraulic fluid to put in there. It's not an issue. Got to go to town here in a little bit. So, all right. Since I can't split wood right now, I think we're going to go take a quick walk and go visit the pigs who have destroyed their feeding trough. They keep knocking over their water container. They are so ready to go next week. A week from today, they go to the butcher. I'm ready for it. Oh, pork chop! Where's Mr. Piggles? Hi, Porky! How are my boys doing? You knocked over your water again. Yeah. And look at the damage. You ruined my feed trough. Yeah. You've ruined it. And look at all that. You're standing in wet feed. Boys. I better, you got, are you the skittish one? Yeah. Come here, Bubby. Oh. Yeah, that's my buddy. This one lets me pet. This one's still a little afraid. Sadie, get down. All right, boys. Well, we'll get you taken care of here shortly. Since we are this far, I really need to get over here and start finishing everything and getting it all winterized bad. Not going to lie, though. I just haven't had the ump or the gumption to really want to. My grapes. This one actually is done pretty good. This one grew some, but not a whole lot. These, these are kind of a waste, I think. They've been in the ground since early spring. Um, I see some little Brussels sprouts, but nothing really. Nothing really. Some bigger ones there. That's all right, though. Now, we did get a frost the other night, our first one. So, like these peas, I need to just come over and pick them, save the seeds. I have borage growing over here. How borage got over here, I don't know. But, yeah, I'll save these seeds and use them for planting next year. Oh, shoot. Wanted to take that tomato plant to the house. But, yeah... I've got some little acorns I see. My snake gourds are pretty well done. Ooh, I gotta get my plants in. Oh yeah, lots and lots of stuff that I need to clean up over here. Actually, I'm really surprised this looks so well with that frost we had. But, yep. Yeah. There's a couple of those snake gourds, and there's a blue pumpkin. Here's a blue pumpkin. There's some blue pumpkins hanging. Some acorn squaw, or not acorn, some, oh, what do you call those things? I know what they are. Eggplant. But yeah. All these vines. And I really only see two two of those snake gourds on them. It's all right. It's all right. And then you look over here and then volunteer tomatillos over there. Still have tomatoes growing up there. The frost didn't get. Now here's a tomato plant. The frost didn't get. I don't know. Yeah. See that one little tomato down there? <laughs> you just never know.
Yeah. These peas doesn't look like too much of the frost got all them, just certain ones. Same over here. So much to clean up. I still got calendula flowers growing and blooming. That's pretty cool. I got quite a few blooms on that. That's awesome. And we cleaned all this out. I still haven't gotten my garlic in the ground. Shame on me. Look at all these. You know, I thought these were tomatillos, but I half wonder if this wasn't a ground cherry. These are ground cherry tomatoes. I was thinking they were tomatillos. See, look at that. Look at that. Never eaten one before. Tastes pretty good. It does taste like a little piece of candy. I do like those. So really, even though we had a frost, things still look really good in here. Look at these long, hot cayennes. How many of them? Tons. And look at this beautiful big pepper right here. That is a, let's see if I can find it. A Javarsky. <clears throat> I <laughs> got marigolds still in bloom. Zinnias are done. Oh yeah. Lots of peppers still. Need to pick. Look at them all. Look at all the flowers. So yeah, I really need to get over here and do some more pepper picking. Look at my Jimmy Nardellos. I'm really excited to try one of these. <laughs> Look at that huge one. That's awesome. Open that up and stuff it. That'd be awesome. So yeah, there's still stuff growing. I'm really surprised. After my frost, my celery, Swiss chard, Yes, those two are still on the fence. See my lovely fence here? We had a tree fall and the bad storm we had last weekend. The top hit my fence. Not a big deal. Luckily, could have been worse. I was hoping it would have knocked them out, but oh no, they're still there. Look at all the flowers still on these. Not that I'll probably get any more, but it's the idea. They're still flowering. <laughs> That's cool. My flowers. <laughs> Look at that. I still have growth on that tomato plant. Probably because of all the weeds helping to hold the heat in. So yeah. I guess I got some peppers to pick. And that looks about it. But, oop, I'm going to go in and grab that one that fell off. And check it out. Yes, that's still a good pepper, so I will take that one over. <laughs> If I'd come over maybe a day or two sooner, I could have gotten a couple more tomatoes. That's all right. I got a little tomato growing there. Maybe what I ought to do is put some stakes in and cover this and see. You know, take these off because don't need them anymore. Clean some of this crap out. 
I just might try. We'll see. We'll see how ambitious, if I get any ambitious to do anything. This tomato plant I want to dig up and take over to the house. I'm glad the frost didn't get that. And you know, it really amazes me because that frost, it wasn't just a little frost. I mean, it was on the vehicles and on the ground. It was 28 degrees out. And out of all of these, I only had one, two, three cabbages that grew out of all of these seeds. And I really need to put them in the ground. Probably won't get nothing, but don't know till you try. So let's see, I haven't even walked inside my greenhouse in probably two weeks or a good week. Look at my borge and all the flowers. Guys, this is unheard of for this time of year here. Look at this borage. It's beautiful. Beautiful. And we're one week from Halloween. Let's walk in here. Ooh. I can't read what that says. My thing broke. My thermometer. No, it didn't. 70 in here. For some reason, I just can't see it. My window popped open. So let's get that shut. I've been trying to get that hauled all week to the scrapyard and life keeps happening. Hoping to do it tomorrow. And then I can get it off of my trailer. Have my truck free again. So right here is the reason I am home today. My poor little guy got a little stomach bug, woke up in the night throwing up. So he stayed home from school. He feels better, but his little body's tired from the night. So precious. So all right, now that I'm back in the house, where am I actually at? I'm lost. Not going to lie. I have good moments. I have bad moments. My kids will tell you. I cry. I'll cry at the drop of a hat for no reason. Um, then there's other times that I'm good to go. And one of the things I will tell people, I will not lie to them. If I'm having a rough five minutes and somebody asks me, how, how are you doing today? And I'll be like, uh, right now I ain't doing so hot. Check back with me later. It's one thing you don't want to do. Um, as more and more things break or, because I also have a wheat broken weed eater now too. So, as more things break and have to be fixed and you know basically life life happen it makes me more stressed right now I'm not a list type of person but I'm feeling like lists help me right now it gives me a little bit of control I think over things so I and that helps me to visually see because my mind is not all there which they say is normal. I did start going to a grief support group this week, and I think that's going to be very beneficial for me. And I want to continue that program for the next nine weeks. So, it is what it is. It's one day at a time. You know, I didn't work today because he's homesick. Now, if I want to, I can make up and work extra tomorrow. Oh, it's supposed to be nice tomorrow. And I was really hoping to get a lot of things done outside. But it's one of those things. Still need some income coming in. So we'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling. That's what I told them. We'll see how I'm feeling later on and I'll let you know. It's all I can do. My employer is awesome working with me 
whatever I need. Five hours, 500 hours. The one day I called him and I just told him, hey, I'm not coming in today. I just, just can't handle it. Fully understood. Says, don't worry about it. You can make it up. Come in another day if you want. If you don't want to, that's fine too. I cannot complain at all about my employer. <clears throat> so, it is what it is. I want to thank you guys for coming along with me and watching. If you made it to the end, please like, subscribe, share. Um, I don't know. I feel like there's a lot I want to say and so much of it's just not coming out. I know. My doggie here. You want to say hi? Does Sadie want to say hi? Sadie. Sadie, can you say hi? Look over here. Look over here. Say hi. Hello. Ruff, ruff, ruff. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm just going to end the video here. That's just a little update. Hope to actually get something done um, and get something out for you guys very soon. But mama can't work in the kitchen until we get the leech bed working right. Because mama can't wash all the dishes and have it go down in there and then end up with the water in the basement. No. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Toodles.